Hey folks, this is Ben with Ben's Campers, and today we are taking a quick look at this 1985 Fleetwood Wilderness uh, 3000 CL uh, 19F travel trailer that is for sale, uh, asking $1,475, $1,475. It's a 19 foot trailer. It weighs just under 3,000 pounds. Uh, very desirable uh, little size, and uh, does need some work, as you can imagine, with a low price. Uh, it does have a clean and clear title in hand, and it's ready to be repaired and used and enjoyed here in the coming season. Uh, here at the shop, we also do these repairs. Uh, if you watch my videos, you know that. We charge $95 a shop hour, and I'd estimate you about 10 to 12 hours to repair this trailer on our watch. Uh, plus some materials. Materials aren't really bad. Uh, it's the labor, and uh, you know, you do the math on that plus the price. You're out the door for around three grand for a very usable, clean little trailer. So uh, please like this video and subscribe. I appreciate that. This is Ben's Campers here in Monongahela. So like the video and please subscribe to my channel. Let's take a look at this one. So the aluminum skin's in pretty good shape. Um, this is an as is, you know, I, I just got this thing here a week or two ago. Uh, just cleaned it up is all we did. So that door is kicked in there. That can be fixed pretty easily. Uh, the trailer has four brand new tires. They are 13 inch Tomax Vanguards. Uh, date code on them is, um, they're from 2020. They're 50th week of 2020. So, um, just over two years old. And we got a tail light lens missing. Uh, frame on the trailer, steel frames in very good condition. Uh, the back corner here, I have it taken apart where the water damage is. I'll show you that inside. I have the J rail, I have all the pieces for it. Um, re refrigerator access, uh, 30 amp cord. Again, two more new tires. We have that missing hubcap inside. Uh, hot water heater. Appears to be non-working, but I'm not positive on that. Uh, we This unit does not have tanks. Uh, it does have a good regulator, from what I can see, and a 7-pin connector. I have not... Or yes, I did. The 7-pin uh, lights do not work, but I will fix that for you at the price I'm selling it. It's probably just a bad ground that needs cleaned up under there somewhere. I'll fix that for you. So we will have working lights and presumably brakes if they work. I uh, wouldn't see why they wouldn't. I'm sure there'll be some burned out bulbs. So this one is towable. Uh, we towed it 300 miles and you know again the frame very nice and solid. No rust holes. Chassis is very solid. Nice solid clean little box on this trailer. Uh, if you're wondering what that is around the door it was up against like a porch or something and they put some like spray foam on it. It comes off You'd have to try to, you know, use some chemicals or something on it. I uh, do not have the keys for this one. So you can get new uh, cylinders there with a key, very cheap. So let's get inside. Uh, right at the front door, there is a little bit of softness. Uh, it's not bad at all, but, you know, it is something that you may want to address. The trailer's off level right now, so the fridge door keeps swinging open. But uh, inside, it is in fair shape from 1985. That's the bathtub there that I have removed uh, to expose the water damage. I'll show you that. It does have a puncture in the roof up there uh, that would need patched. And I've had the trailer covered, so I just took the cover off to do this video. Uh, this is a bunk bed. And then this pulls out to a bed. And then this here is a little table that comes up. That's kind of neat. A little kitchen area, stove. Again, haven't tested the propane stuff. I'm sure the stove works. I've never seen one not work. If we put some tanks on it, we have a dinette. This piece of wood is for the bottom of the bathtub. Uh, the cushions and upholstery need some work in here. Uh, rest of the floor in here is nice and solid. Our refrigerator is working. And again, haven't tested the furnace due to not having tanks. Uh, we got the water damage up there where I removed to dry this unit out and uh, had the dehumidifier going. 
So I took the bathtub out and the water, what happened is the roof is punctured there and the water came down the corner and rotted that out there. So I took the bathtub out to expose the moisture and sucking it out with the dehumidifier. So you're going to have some woodwork here. Uh, you can do this yourself or if that looks a little too much for you, like I said, 95 an hour, you're looking at uh, probably 12 hours just to be on the safe side of our um, work. And you can look at, you know, we'll seal the roof up and everything when we're done. You can look at some of my other videos to see our work and the quality that we do. We do it the right way. We put it back the way it's supposed to be with the right materials. We don't use caulking from Lowe's or any of that crap. Okay, so that does need addressed. And uh, other than that, folks, uh, this one's pretty straightforward. It's a low price. I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe again, and God bless.